are gathered here to celebrate the genius of Lewis Carroll on this the centenary of his birth. A celebration honored by the presence, the grace of Alice herself. She was Alice. I mean, the real Alice, the one Lewis Carroll first told the story to 70 years ago. Well, she's arriving in New York tomorrow morning on the Berengaria. Columbia are going to give her an honorary degree. Get it. Any old dame who fell down a rabbit hole and sat down to tea with a mad hatter is going to cheer me up, let alone our readers. When I was a little girl... Dream Child. The true story of the real Alice and Charles Dodgson, better known as Lewis Carroll. I hope you will always cherish it, Alice. The most wonderful thing that has ever happened. I shall read it again and again and again, and then I shall start at the last page and finish it the first. A moving story. From Jazz Age New York to Victorian Oxford. Have you thought about whom you might like to marry? But why on earth should he say that to you? Because he loves me, of course. It's an emotion which has always frightened me. But I can always recognize it when I see it. I wouldn't change one hair of your head. Dream Child is Dennis Potter's brilliant picture of childhood innocence and the pressures of the new world. Was it a dream, or was it reality? What a day of the month is it? What day of the month is it? Carl Brown as the 80-year-old Alice. Flowers remind me of death, you know. Ian Holm as the inspired storyteller. It was time for Alice to have some tea. Jane Asher as Alice's mother. Say you're sorry at once. What really happened in that long-lost Victorian summer? Was it the wonderland we can never forget? Or did the looking glass reflect a different picture? But I see it now, at long, long last. Thank you, Mr. Dodson. Thorny M.I. presents Dream Child, the revealing story of Lewis Carroll and the girl who was Alice. Won't you join?